who put up all of the... Um, the heck do they call these things? The, the towers. Oh yeah, I got griefed. Who put them up there? Not me, someone griefed me. Towers where? Oh my goodness, oh, yeah. look behind our houses. Our, our bases. They're all over the whole landscape. <laughs> Whoa, I see that now. I may have to take them down because sometimes that starts to mess with frame rate. And not really? only that, they TC griefed my base. Well, I, if it's not, I don't think we want random structures anywhere. Like, is it not part of a base? No. No. Uh, then I would, yeah, I would. Can you, can you on TC down. grief my base because it's not my TC? How did they do it? They just put a TC behind it to prevent me from building. Lid. Hello, hello. Hey, hello. so what's up? Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Maybe and me and, me and tomorrow or something. Tonight. Also, <laughs> did who's you dancing? Know, Slid, did you know that I was PvPing Randall and uh, Rat? Where are you? Oh, that <laughs> How's that, man? Yeah, uh, and um, I, got up, go. decent, I got a pretty decent amount of kids off of them. As did they. They killed me once or twice. And I killed them what, like what, six, seven times? Nice. Because they kept assuming that I would rush the body on top of dome, but I just held, like I held the entrance to the dome because I knew they were gonna come back. So I just got free. I kept on farming kids. And wow. I kept on running back. And then I just stacked my kid away and went. Dum do 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 do. Uh, Octane are gonna destroy all of these watchtowers around my base. Yeah, I see. I see a base back there. They could keep like a couple near no, their that's, base. No, no, that's no, Mech's base. Everyone, look at my screen share. Oh, everyone, look at my screen share. Yeah, the round one is Mech's base. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you see no one? Hold on a second. Okay, we got, what the hold hell? Look, this is my base, right? Oh, that's this yeah, yeah. We can, yeah, we can remove all those. Yeah. That was TC Grief, and then just all of these going all, all around. Who did that? I don't know. Probably Randall. <laughs> or Adam. I'm not mad. Oh, well, I cannot leave. No, I mean, design. I don't think it's the spirit of the server. Maybe, maybe leading up to Purge, you can be all, get all funky with it. Let's see where are we at. Top of M8. Where's Rico? I got to ask him about being a mod, because I know you're never gonna talk about it, because both of you are busy. So, yeah. The problem is right now is we don't need a mod yet because there's nobody on our server. You know what? When we start getting people on the server, then we will. Not Josh. Half the mods that you gave aren't even on the server. Well, that's just it. We don't need them. You're right, and I agree with you, Mech. That once the pop starts going up, absolutely, I'd suggest more mods. But there's nothing to mod right now. I mean, I could have modded all of those damn watchtowers out of existence. Nah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. And they help Rico. Rico doesn't do any help. It's all DJ and I. Ninety percent of it now. Oh well, I'll help you guys. Even though you There's nothing to help though. That's my point. When did Wait, I, I don't want to. I don't want to give mod just to give mod and have it be used when it doesn't need to be used. No, 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 no. It's Who it's. You you're talking to. Okay. But I'm just telling you that there's no there's no need for any mod. I mean, when we get pop, oh my goodness, in a heartbeat. Because we don't have any other mods, but... You know what? I'll get my revenge. Don't you worry. <laughs> don't worry. Just, just wait until church. Just wait. Just you wait until church. That's all I gotta say. Guys, do you know what Randall's gonna do? He's gonna throw an airdrop at church and kill everyone. So... 
Cheers, it's about to happen. Uh, can you get a Randall a TP? Yep. Know. Who's this Randall kid? Who's this Randall kid? I keep you. on the discord catch you guys in the church My friends, welcome. Let's get started with uh, church today. Uh, so good to see everybody. I hope everyone is doing well on your part of the world, wherever you are from. And we are live streaming on the Twitch. So everybody who's watching in on Twitch right now, what's up? Good to see you. Ninja, I'm assuming you're on Twitch as well. Uh, so good to see everyone and those watching later on demand. Um, what's up? Uh, welcome to Church in Russ. This is a real church, real pastors, a real community. And so, yeah, we're going to get started. Uh, if this is your first time to church, just a couple of uh, some, just a couple of ground rules. Uh, number one is hold the fire uh, in, in the middle of the uh, church services. Um, we don't want to kick anybody from the server. That'd be the last thing we'd want to do. Uh, but it would be done. Uh, we'd rather not kick, but kicking is part of uh, if you're disrupting. Um, so we're going to do just a quick... Um, uh, just kind of church service here. Octane's going to come up and give some announcements. And then I have a sermon to give you today. Uh, what we like to do is read a chapter of the Bible every week. And so we've been doing that for the longest time. And uh, we're going to do that today. It's a short chapter. So church might run a little shorter than usual um, since it's a short chapter in the scriptures. And then afterwards, uh, we're going to spend some time in prayer. And then after prayer, we got a little gun game going on. So yeah, that is pretty much about it. Um, if we, let's see here, I'm going to go into debug camera mode, and then Rat, if you don't mind grabbing a seat, uh, that would be awesome, my friend. Thank you for the uh, piano playing. It's actually pretty, pretty, not bad at all. You were doing that with your num keys? That's actually halfway decent. All right. Uh, let's start out with a word of prayer. By the way, if you don't see me moving, I'm in debug camera mode, so I can get some nice shot for Twitch, and I can get some nice shots for the TikTok. Uh, I'd like to film a TikTok after if you guys got some time. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and have a word of prayer to start out our church service. Let's pray. Um, God, thank you so much for everyone who is here. Um, I, I read in the scripture where you say where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst of that. So whether we're at church, in a building, in rust, on discord, God, we are gathered together to celebrate your love. And I just pray that you'd help everyone in here to grow in their spiritual life. I pray that everyone would grow in their faith and that everyone would grow in their love. Bless this church service today. May everyone be encouraged by the scriptures. And may we just have an awesome time as a community together. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks to you, everybody. All right, Octane. Um, bring up, tell us what's going on in the server, my friend. All right. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, it's always exciting to see new faces out there. Welcome. If you're returning back, thank you. 
Uh, again, one of the things we want to talk about is a one-month wipe. Just a reminder, we normally do two every two-week wipe. We're doing uh, till the end of December for this wipe, just due to the holidays. And, and uh, it's actually, I think, working out pretty good. I see a lot of new faces in here that, that are staying and asking a lot of questions about the church, so that's great. Um, after church, we want to please ask you guys, just wait. After Pastor DJ finishes... We want to do a filming for the TikTok, a nice little TikTok video. Those of you that have been here for a while know how great that is and, and how you yourself can kind of blow up. I got more recognition off of that TikTok uh, video that DJ did on me than I ever have. So it's pretty cool. Stick around for, for the TikTok. After the TikTok, over to my left, your right, we have a giveaway. Don't forget to give the giveaway. And as... Uh, uh, Pastor DJ said, and then after that, we're going to do a quick gun game. So uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. It's great to see everybody here. And uh, I'm going to pass it off to Pastor DJ. All right. Thanks, Octane. Again, if you're just popping into church right now, if you see me standing still, I'm in debug camera mode, flying around, getting some sweet shots for Twitch. I'm just going to fly around among uh, amongst you guys. I know you can't see the camera, uh, but that's okay. I uh, want to say hello to Randall. What's up, Randall? By the way, the camera's right on you. If you want to wave or give an emoji to Twitch, you can. If not, you can just, like, you know, uh, bob your head up and down. What's up, Randall? Good to see you. Flying Plast Randall, we got Rat. What's up, Rat? Good to see you, man. I hope you things are going well in your part of the world. Uh, throwing down some C4 IC. All right. That'll blow up. Adam Lynn, good to see you, man. I hope things are good in your part of the world. That's a fantastic beard you got for your character. All right. Oops, uh, I think that killed him. <laughs> Did it kill anybody else? It didn't affect Randall? Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, uh, poor guy. Just leave his stuff alone. I know it's tempting to loot him, uh, but you can leave his stuff. That's what happens when you, you drop some C4 there. All right. And all right, let's see who else we got. There's an imposter. What's up, man? Good to see you as well. I hope you're well in your part of the world. Uh, Fat, what's up, man? Nice sport in the MMO church. Um, gear, like it. A little, little way from fat for you Twitch folks. Mech, Mech is, has been looted or something. That's why he's, you know, without clothes. That's okay. Uh, Matt, you, I'm sure you'll get your stuff back. No worries. Marco from Brazil. What's up, my bud? Hope you're well. little wave. Excellent. Let's see who else am I missing. Octane, good to see you, man. All the way from Pennsylvania. Octane's chilling here. All right, my friends. I don't know if I missed anybody on the uh, Twitch stream as I fly around here, um, but I don't. Th I think I got everybody. So good. All right, so guys, let's hop in, into the scriptures for today. Um, we are, have been going chapter by chapter through the Bible, and today we are on Second John, and it's a really short uh, passage of scripture, super short. So we're going to be, I don't know, done within five or ten minutes here. But if you can guess it. Guess what we're going to talk about today? We've been talking about this, it seems like, every week, all the time. And that's making sure that we don't forget to love one another. That's really the most important thing. Um, it's great that we attend church and religious events and read the Bible and pray. That's all good. I think that's positive. But at the end of the day, the scripture doesn't want us to forget that the most important thing is love. And I'm going to read this chapter to prove it because maybe someone here is like, wait a minute, that's the most important thing? That's what God wants us to focus on? Absolutely. Our love for one another is what he wants us to focus on. And this was written thousands of years ago. And I think it still applies today because when you look at the world and social media, when you look at what's going on in the news, um, in, the, in the country, it really is clear that there is just a lot of love that we need to share uh, from one another. So I think that's important. And we're going to go ahead and I don't, if you look to your right and my left, I have some of the scriptures up. Um, and, uh, but I'm going to read most of it um, that's not going to be on the screen. And then I'll point it out uh, when it's here on the screen. So yeah, that'd be great. And Rat, thank you so much for the uh, uh, I don't know what's happening here. Maybe the <laughs> bowing down. If you don't mind grabbing the seat, though, uh, that'll just help those watching on Twitch not be too distracted. But appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love. All right, so here we go. Second John, and here's what he says. He, he's addressing this, actually, to a woman named Syria. And he says, To that dear woman, Syria, one of God's very own, and to her children, whom I love so much, as does everyone else in the church. So this letter was written to a girl named Syria, and she must have had a powerful impact in John's life. 
John, by the way, was a follower of Jesus Christ. He actually was with him in his uh, earthly ministry. He walked with them, ate with them, saw him do all these things. And John has right from the source this message of love for one another. And then the scripture says this, Since the truth is in our hearts forever, God the Father and Jesus Christ his Son will bless us with great mercy and much peace with truth and love. So there are some things that God wants us to experience. He wants us to experience great mercy. Mercy has this idea of maybe we've messed up, we've failed, we've sinned, we have guilt, we regret. And God says, you know what? I forgive you for all of that. I release you from all of that. God has great mercy that he wants you to experience. I love that the scripture says that uh, he wants to bless us with this great mercy. He doesn't want to judge us or have lightning bolts. It's about his mercy, his love. And then the second thing he says is that he wants us not only to have much mercy, but much peace. And when we're talking about peace, we're talking about peace in our hearts and we're talking about peace in our minds, which is really important because in our life today, there's a lot to be worried about. There's a pandemic, there's quarantine, there's school, work. There's a lot of stress. But God wants to give you peace in your brain, in your thoughts, in your spirit. Go to sleep at night and not worry about a thing in the world. The, the Bible calls it a peace that passeth all understanding. It's like there's no reason you should be as relaxed as you are. But you are because God's peace is within you. Um, so the next verse says this. And then these two, uh, if you look to your left, Oops, hold on. Let me see if my screen, why is it my, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, my camera wasn't working for a second. So over in your left and my right is the next scripture. It says this. And now I want to urgently remind you, dear friends, of the old rule God gave us right from the beginning. And check it out there. It's what we've been saying each week, that Christians should love one another. And that's the point. There's he doesn't want us to forget it. He is urgently remind us. Because it's easy to get toxic. It's easy to, be a, to get trolly. It's easy to be uh, hateful to one another. That's why he's reminding us, let us love one another. And if we love God, we will do whatever he tells us to. And he has told us from the very first to love one another. And that's powerful. That's beautiful. I just noticed uh, Rico's uh, epic, uh, like, Nomad gear that he's got going on. That's pretty sweet. All right, so let's look at the scripture to your, um, let's see, I'm going to keep going over here. Um, so the command is to love one another, and he's urgently reminding us to never forget that. Um, and then let's see here. We're going to go down here to, um, he says this later, later on in the scripture. He says, for if you wander beyond the teaching of Christ, you will leave God behind. Now, that's something we never want to do. We never want to stray away from the path that God has us. So he says, listen, if you wander away from love, you're wandering away from God. You know, I know sometimes in life we take wrong turns and we end up in places we don't want to be. And so this, the writer is encouraging us to stay on that path of love. It's hard, right? Because people can be frustrating <laughs> at work, at school, wherever people might, oh boy, you just want to, you know, it, it's just, it, it gets you really upset. And I know people can be difficult sometimes. And I know people make you want to just like pull your hair out. But as much as you're able to show love, doesn't mean you don't set boundaries. It doesn't mean you, you stay in, a, in abusive situations. But it does mean that even with that, you show love as best as you're able to other people. And you might have to do that from a distance, by the way, if there's abuse, if there's like toxicity, but you still don't want to go in the path of hate. You know, I feel like Yoda, you know, stay away from hate. Hate leads to, you know, whatever Yoda says here. Um, and then the last thing he says this is, I would like to say much more, but I don't want to say it in this letter, for I hope to come to see you soon. And then we can talk about these things together and have a joyous time. So the writer is encouraging us as much as often as we're able. It could be in church. It could be during the week. It says, get together 
to make sure everyone's doing okay, to check in on each other, to love one another. And that's what the writer is encouraging us. He doesn't want us to miss the love. He doesn't want us to miss the, miss the path of love. He doesn't want us to get caught up in other hateful paths, toxic paths. We have enough of that in this world. He wants us to go in the path of love. And by the way, some of you I know, I, I, by the, I mean, I don't know what kind of home life you have, how you grew up, what kind of situation you have. Maybe nobody has been an example of love to you. Maybe it's been the opposite. But the writer is, is saying, hey, listen, you be the one to set a new direction. You be the one to show love to others in this hateful world. And that's tough. I, I know that's tough. Um, but the writer is encouraging us to aim, uh, to set our aim for new heights. And that height is the love of God and the love for one another. All right, my friends, that is uh, the end of the church service for today. Um, I hope that you were encouraged by that. I'm just going to take a couple quick pictures um, because we got some sweet shots here, especially with the skull in the middle of the, uh, there we go. And then we'll, we'll take another group picture here in a second. But I want to close in prayer. And then after I pray, uh, let's take a group picture up here, do a quick TikTok. Uh, we got a giveaway via Octane. And I think Rico has a quick gun, gun game for us. Um, so let's take a moment to pray. God, help us to not forget this most important thing, uh, to love one another. Help us to remember that it is the most important thing and to not be distracted, to not go down the path of hate, um, but to always stay, stay on the path of love. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Amen, everybody. It looks like a drop is coming. <laughs> drop is coming. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody, hop on the stage next to me. We got to get a picture. Everybody uh, to my left and to my right. Rika, I don't know if you can kill the PvP zone here, but that's going to be coming. But uh, who's this? Fat, you want to get in the picture, Fat? All right, here we go. Let me get the camera set up here. Hold on one second. Ooh, this is going to be a good shot. I'll post this on Discord here. Uh, give me one second. And three, two, um, one. Everyone look to the back of the room. In three, two, one, and got it. Let me take another one. Three, two, one, and boom. All right, everybody stay right there. One more, one more. This, the way this TikTok works is we all need to bob our heads, right? Um, it'll make sense when you see the TikTok, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I need to turn on the audio so I can time it right. But you can just start bobbing your head like right now. And I'll tell you here in a second how it's going to go. Let's see here. Whoa. Well, that messed it up. I got to go to debug camera mode. Oh, and kicked. Uh, look at this carnage. <laughs> look at this carnage. Oh, my gosh. Give me back my stuff here. Try not to loot each other. Try to let everyone out. Try not to loot each other. Uh, someone dropped a... Somebody dropped a zone thing. Where's my gun at? Somebody took my gun. Where, which gun do you have? 
I think it was the LR. It's all uh, multicolored. Anybody have an LR on them? Let me see if... Uh, no, I have an M39. Carnage. Hey, Slid. I think your stuff I'm is good, everywhere. Right? Yeah, your stuff is right here, I think. Now, whoever uh, was shooting got banned. There's a pistol right here. Thank you. They ready to get everything? <laughs> All right. I guess we'll forget. Yeah, the, I got my stuff. We'll forget the TikTok. Did everybody get their stuff? That's what you call it, carnage. Justice for Randall. <laughs> God forgives, but admins don't. That's funny, man. I like that quote. I might use that. Yeah, that I like, knew like that. that quote. It's like, what is that? I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I started. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, fat. Oh, <laughs> no, it's all right. You need help out of your seat, Mech? How did Mech survive the carnage? I have no clue. Mech, how did you survive? Everyone went down immediately. Oh, we have enough people to do the TikTok. Pretty sure right, get up here. <laughs> That's good. All right, everybody, everybody line up. Everybody line up. Uh, let me do this big debug cam. All right, here we go. Uh, is everybody lined up here? Who are we missing? Octane, you coming? There's Octane, you coming? Oh. All right, let me see if I get this timed right. Ready? Um, I got to get the music going. Hold on. It's a silly TikTok. There's no. Uh, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Hold on one second. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, I can come a little, little a step forward. Yeah, I think you're a little bit behind someone. Yeah, right there. All right, here we go. Ready and action. One more time. Oh, I might have to do it. Hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Let me do it one more time here. Here we go. I <laughs> got it. Got it. Nice. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. All right. Don't forget your giveaways. Oh, yeah. Giveaway time. Mech, you still need help getting out of that chair? I just did that for uh, because Mac was stuck. Give it away over here, y'all. Yeah, but here, he teleported. Okay. Thank you. All right, how do we start gun game again? Event. Anybody else need the giveaway? I got mine. All right, gun game is on. Forward slash event to join. Yeah, I'm pretty rusty, so you got to change. <laughs> pretty rusty, eh? Does it, like, put a different inventory on? or? Yeah, you'll get your inventory when you come back. Yeah, it puts a different one on. 
Okay. Yeah. I think the event is starting. We're joining. You say you're pretty rusty? Oh yeah, let the games begin. <laughs> Killed by Marco, no. I hear lots of footsteps, I don't see anybody. Same. Oh, shotgun! Oh. I gotta get out of this pistol. I have 7 HP. <laughs> So painful. Ah, <laughs> no way. Whoa, that's on a roll. He's slicing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that line is so hard. <laughs> no! Uh. 
Yay. <laughs> that was so close. Fat almost got me. Where's Fat? Oh no! Let me be. <laughs> ah, run for your lives. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. That was a GG right there. Damn it. I was doing so good until I got to L9. Man, I couldn't get out of that pistol forever. Let's do one more again. I couldn't get off the L9. Yeah, there's always one. That was completely yeah, different. There's always one. Yeah. There's always a gun that hardly can't get out of. All right. Play baby shark. All right, let's get this. Game going. Oh, thank you. Come on. Let's do this. Where's Mech? He was talking smack. Uh, he put in Discord that he'll be back. He's AFK. I did. Gotcha. Let's go. Wow, well, Marco, you and I are both bad. I just snaked that. <laughs> no. Oh! Oh! Marco, it's deadly. Get back here. Yay. Oh, wow. Tap, tap. I need to focus.
Yeah. <laughs> I was shooting from the hip. Oh! Marco, I thought we were friends. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I was surrounded. Definitely surrounded. He's already on knife. Oh, nice. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. <laughs> that flick though. <laughs> Hey, Mech wants to play one more. We should play one more with Mech. <laughs> That's a hard one. Yeah. That might have been my first win ever. Been Good job. Fast, fast, did you let me win? That, that was destroying me. <laughs> I think Mech wants to win. <laughs> I think Mech, let's play one more with Mech. If you guys got time. I like the first fight with me and Marco. We were like point I got blank. The first fight with me point blank range. We couldn't kill each other. Dude, I finally made it past L9. I was so proud of myself. What'd you do? I made it past the L9. Oh, nice. Ooh, a lot of kicks and only one band. All right, that's cool. Wait, what? 
I was just looking at the logs for the server. Oh. There's only one ban. But multiple kicks. Wait, did, um... Did all the people that shoot get... What's that? All right, Twitch, last last game. Let's go. I won the last one. Let's do it again. Let's get another W. Dang. Huh? <laughs> Shotgun to the face. Oh. Maybe spawning crazy. A little bit behind, actually, quite a bit behind. I can't get off this pistol. All somebody has to do is like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you're shooting rockets. Ah, <laughs> no way. How many bullets does it take? I just saw the blink of a... Great, here comes the uh, snipers. Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Mac, what happened? Mac.
All right, see you guys. I gotta head out. Let's see, what do we got here? All right, Twitch, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. I'll give you a nice view of the sun, of the moon rising. Bye, everybody. Thank you.